My dear brothers and sisters, today the feast of St. Matthew. St. Matthew is one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. You know, we have apostles and disciples. So as an apostle, he really played a strong role in the spreading of the gospel. We know that the scripture, we have the gospel of Matthew, reminding us that Matthew was an evangelist, and also he contributed tremendously as an apostle of Jesus. As we read in the gospel today, Matthew was a tax collector. And during the time of Jesus, tax collectors are known as public sinners. So why did Jesus decide to choose someone who was a public sinner? Two things. Number one, God does not choose the equipped. He equips those he chooses. I repeat, God does not choose the equipped. He equips those he chooses. The case of Matthew is an example. When Matthew realized that Jesus has called him, from that moment, he gave up his past. And there was a total turnaround. He started to follow Jesus from that moment. He left his past life. And that is what we are being reminded today, my dear friends in Christ. Do not think that, oh, you are the worst sinner. Do not think that, oh, you cannot do it. Just say yes to him. And he will strengthen you. He will equip you. He will give you the grace to carry out the responsibility being entrusted to you. So do not just go and relax and say, oh, you cannot do that. No. Each and every one of us, that is a gift that God has given to us. And we have to use those gifts for the growth of the community of God. Do not think that you don't have gift. You have. And also, God knows our hearts. He knows that we can do it. So when we try to say no to his call, it is not the right thing to do. Just make yourself available, and he will use you as his instrument. Number two, God knows our hearts. You know, there are some people that they do what they do because of their vulnerability. For example, there was this story of a little child. The mom was owing someone, and that same evening, the mom gave appointment to the person she was owing. The mom told this person that, oh, please come to my house. I will give you what I'm owing. So when this dead dog came and knocked on the door, so the mom of this little child told the child, oh, go and open the door. And when you open the door, tell her that I am not available. So the little child, being very sincere, went to open the door. She opened the door and told the dead that, oh, my mom said that I should tell you that she's not around. 
You could see the sincerity in the mind of this little child. God knows our minds, our hearts. He knows those that love him so dearly. So we have to make ourselves available. Jesus knew that Matthew, even though he was a public sinner, but Matthew loved him so dearly. And the way God reads us is not the way people read us. God sees our hearts, the innermost of our hearts. We might facially appear to be bad, but inside us, we're not. So we have to make ourselves available to God. When God calls us, we have to say yes to him. So my dear friends in Christ, as we are celebrating this feast day of Matthew the Evangelist, let us acknowledge the fact that God has given us a gift and he is calling us in different ways to serve. So let us make ourselves available. When we make ourselves available, he will give us the grace that will transform us. When we make ourselves available, he will strengthen us. And always remember, he does not choose the equipped. He equips those he chooses. May you rise.